Welcome back to Stein's Gate. Last time, Mayuri told us she was planning to stay the night with Kurisu there as well, of course, much to Kurisu's surprise. And I guess we're trying to decide if that's what's gonna happen. Kurisu is a little bit reluctant to stay where Okarin is. And yeah, he's talking about something in the lab that stimulates brain function, which I think is probably just a coffee machine or something, but we'll see. Let's get started. So, if you were wondering where my incredible genius comes from, now you know. It's because I sleep in this room every night. This stimulation system of yours. I assume it's been dumping toxic waste in your brain. You sound like an environmentalist zombie. Ah, Mayushi knows! You're talking about that, right? Risu comes out of the development room to check what Mayuri is pointing at. This air freshener. Okrin said the smell makes you smarter. He bought it at Akibao. When was that? About six months ago, it was on sale for 500 yen. I'm starting to think even you don't believe the stuff you say. And besides, this air freshener is empty. Well, we can get deal with that in a second. Faris. Komima, is Mayushi okay? Tell her to have fun at Komima for me. I don't think I can go this year, Nyan. I just don't have the energy, Nya. I'm completely burned out. I can hear a voice shouting, Get up, Joe. Nyan. Someone save me. The world is collapsing. Nya. It's always sad to not be able to go to a convention that you wanted to go to. Okay, let's see what these options are. That's not like you. Pull yourself together. I need your help finding the IBM 5100. Yeah, that is not helpful. If she's not feeling that great, like if she's a bit depressed or whatever, you don't tell them to just pull your, don't tell someone to just pull themselves together, like the least helpful thing you could say. Someone save me. What happened? Is the organization attacking or you're messing with me again, aren't you? Stop making me worry. Okay, I'm going with the second one because I don't want to say stop making me worry. And at least in this one, I'm asking what's happened, even if it's followed up by is it the organization, but still, you know, it's, it's the best of three not great options. Okay, scent. I guess we'll uh, deal with this air conditioner stuff now. Yeah, when I went to buy replacement packs, they had already stopped selling them. Well, whatever. I was planning to say either way. I'll join you, Mayuri-san. Really? That's great! On one condition, Okabe leaves. Me? Leave? I practically live here. This lab was promised to me by Stein's Gate. It's the dwelling place of my soul. We girls are staying here overnight, so you filthy boys need to show respect. Your home isn't even far from here, right? Okrin lives close to Mayushi in Ikebukuro. Why, that's less than 13 minutes by train. Anyway, I'm not going to need your help tonight. 
So just go home like a good boy, okay? But I refuse. What? Are you planning to molest us? Shut up, Mongolian spot! I don't have a Mongolian spot, and when did you see my butt anyway? I can't leave two young girls here alone. Miners need guardians. But Elkarin's a minor too. あと1年半もしないうちに成人だ。それはつまり、シュタインズゲートの選択的に言えば成人だということであり。I'll be 20 in less than a year and a half. In other words, Steins Gate has decided that I am an adult. I thought he was 19, but I guess he's 18. Also, I feel like saying Steins Gate has decided I am an adult is literally him just going. You know that uh, Parks and Recreation meme where Ron Swanson shows that thing? He's like, I can do what I want. That is Okrin in this lab. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that makes you a minor just like us. Um, Christian, I don't think Okarin would do anything bad. I mean, we've been together for more than 10 years and he hasn't molested me once. I mean, good for you, but doesn't actually mean anything with him and other women. <laughs> Just, just saying. But he took you hostage, didn't he? Yep, actually, I'm still his hostage. We should kick him out of the room. I sighed deeply and placed a hand on my forehead. You disappoint me, Christina. This lab is a place of science. We are above such petty concerns as sex. If you must speak of these vulgarities, then I'll have to ask you and your Mongolian spot to leave. Looks like that was enough to convince Karisu. She gives me a fine, fine gesture as she returns to the development room. Ah, so Christina really does have a birthmark on her butt. No! No! After working on the phone wave, name subject to change for about an hour, I head to a convenience store to buy dinner. Daru hasn't shown his face at all today. He must be busy with that part-time job. I still don't know what he's doing exactly. Probably something that utilizes his super hacker skills. I just hope he steers clear of the law. While walking, I skim at channel on my phone. Title hasn't shown up lately. I think it's been a week since his last appearance. I've been reluctant to contact him ever since he called me the messiah in his last email. That was about the same time he stopped posting. Now at channel's denizens a busy slandering title. The majority opinion is that he ran away. I wonder where title went. I tried emailing him the other day but he hasn't replied. His disappearance is especially worrying now that I think he might be Suzuha's dad. I need to contact him somehow. Just then, a mail arrives. No sender name. The address is one I've seen once before. Oh yes, the spam address. Patskikikskumu at 96PBB. I think last time I saw it, I just assumed that the second half was as much nonsense as the first, but 9-6? That might mean something. And it just says, 
you know too much. Nice and ominous. <laughs> and there's a creepy attachment. Oh my god. I'm assuming that's a doll's head. It feels as if a cold hand stroked my spine. I mean, you know, I feel like CERN wouldn't... Whoever this is sending these weird pictures, I feel like CERN sending, like, a beheaded doll picture is kind of lower standards than you would expect from them. Like, I wouldn't... I, I don't know. I feel like CERN would have a much better way of terrorising someone than decapitated dolls. I don't know. It feels as if a cold hand stroked my spine. I hug myself, shuddering at the sight. I delete the email immediately. It's happening again. This is bad. Really bad. This is a threat. Was it sent by the organisation? By CERN? Does CERN know what we've been doing? Should I report it to the police? Wait, I can't. I just deleted it. I mean, it's probably in your trash folder, Ogren. <laughs> and in any case, a picture alone probably isn't enough to get the police involved. Still, maybe I should talk to someone. But who? Not the girls. I can't worry them with this. I'm the adult here, after all. What about Moeka? No, she may be a lab member, but she's been acting weird lately. Even if I tell her about this, she won't be any use. And I don't think she's the best person to, like, call or anything, because she doesn't speak. So Zuha has her father to worry about. I guess that leaves Daru. Right, I'm going to see if I can actually phone someone. Because I think you can sometimes, and I've just not done it, but I'm not sure. Let's see, Daru. Well, it won't let me do anything, so I guess that's a no. I need to find out whether CERN has discovered our hacking. What would CERN do if they find out, I wonder? They wouldn't have us killed, would they? Despite my efforts to convince myself that this is just a prank, my feet hurry me back to the lab. I burst into the lab, gasping for air, and quickly lock the door behind me. Finally, I can catch my breath. But just then, I realise that something's wrong. Mayuri and Karisu aren't here. Did they go home? No, their bags are still here. The lights are still on. The door. When I entered just now, it was unlocked. Would they be so careless? The memory of that threatening email fills me with fear. Don't tell me. Were they kidnapped? Who took them? The organisation? CERN? And then I hear a noise. Is that the shower? The lab has a shower inside the dressing room. There's no bath, we can't afford such luxuries. And it's too small to fit more than one person inside. Now I hear the sound of water running. I mean, if it's too small for less for more than one person, like surely one of the girls would be outside. I recall the famous scene from Hitchcock's Psycho. No. Fresh blood mixing into the water and flowing down the drain. The corpses of two girls sprawled out naked on the tile. Okay, Okrin, you're just like imagining more than you need to be imagining. <laughs> the second those images flashed through my head, I slam open the door to the shower room. Is everyone okay? Oh my god. What are you doing? Uh, and this is when you close the door and leave. <laughs> oh, great. No peeking, Okrin. Through the seam, I see the wet, naked bodies of the two girls. Okay, and just leave. You, you, no, okay. Wow. Mayuri squats down while Karisu bashfully twists her body, trying desperately to hide her unmentionables. Are their faces red because of the heat? Or, I mean, it's probably both. 
ふうびっくりした。Oh my god, just leave now. 殺されたわけではなかったのだろう。You're still alive. I wipe the cold sweat off of my brow and sigh deeply. ひやひやさせないでくれ。というか、よくその狭いシャワールームを二人で一緒に使う気になったな。Don't scare me like that. What are you guys doing packed into that tiny shower anyway? You can ask that later. Karisu shoots me a deadly glare. Get out, you perv! <laughs> yeah, I dodge a bar of soap aimed at my face and then quickly flee the dressing room. Well, I suppose that was all my fault. It was, yes. She's sad. I feel kind of dirty. You're gonna regret this. I'll never forgive you. Damn it. It was just a small misunderstanding. I mean, why the hell did they decide to take a shower together when they knew I was coming right back? It's like they wanted to be seen. Okay, let's not try and make it their fault somehow because it's not their fault at all. Okay? No. They probably assumed you would hear the shower going when you came back and wouldn't walk in. Risu, especially. After all that talk about not wanting to spend the night with me around, she sure dropped her guard awfully fast. She went into the bathroom. It's not dropping her guard. Oh my god. They're just lucky it was me who walked in on them. What if it had been the organization? They need to get serious. We're fighting for our lives here. Again, you haven't told them about these threats and they probably think you're crazy. Why would they be taking anything like that seriously? Like, they're not gonna. They don't know he's being threatened. They just think the organization is the mad thing he talks about. Like, he's just finding a way to blame them for him being stupid. Wow, okay. By the way, I didn't see a Mongolian spot on Carisu's butt, naturally. Anyway, how much longer are they going to shower? Looking at the clock, it's already been more than 15 minutes since I got back. They were yelling at me a few minutes ago, but now I hear laughter and happy squeals coming from the shower room. Sounds like they're having a good time. They get along almost like sisters. Wow, Chris Chan, you're so slim! But my Yuri, your breasts are so big, I'm jealous. They're checking each other out, aren't they? Okay, he's letting his imagination get a, get away with him again. In my head, I call up the memory of what I saw in the shower. Wet hair, beads of water glistening on their soapy skin, round, full treasures hidden by conveniently placed steam. I put my phone to my ear. <laughs> まずい状況になりつつあるこの最強マッドサイエンティストである法王院教魔が猛虎犯少女と脳天気少女の姉妹から精神攻撃を受けている It's me We have a problem I'm under attack from the Mongolian spot and Ditsy sisters They're going directly after my sanity A bold move against the insane mad scientist Ho and Kyoma Okay like I know I said right at the start Well, not right at the start, but a while into it, that maybe someone was on the other side of his phone listening. But I honestly think they're not anymore. I think he is just insane. <laughs> And even if they were, he doesn't really need to tell anyone else about this. Ah. <laughs> いよいよ本気を出してきたと見える実にけしからこれが最強の攻撃を受けたと見える実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実にけしから実に俺の仲間であり幼なじみなのだから Give in to the temptation Nonsense 
I could never do that. They're fellow lab members, my loyal assistant and my childhood friend. And, you know, even if they weren't fellow lab members, there's still no reason to give in to the temptation. Just saying. <laughs> Must I? Is it truly the will of Stein's Gate that I give in? That I raise my hand against my closest companions? If so, then how cruel the fates be, yet yeah, no, it's not the will of Stein's Gate. Stop trying to talk yourself into this. <laughs> L. Psy. Congru. Okay, I'm not gonna leave it there. I mean, like, I don't blame Okarin for going into the shower room, given the creepy text message he got and sort of the paranoia he has. And the fact that it's kind of weird that both of them would be in the shower at once, so it did seem like they were kind of missing. But he could have left quicker. And, you know, maybe apologised <laughs> instead of going, ooh, must I give in to the temptation? No, you mustn't. But yeah, so we will leave it there. See if he apologises next time. I kind of feel like he won't, knowing Okarin. But we will see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.